The lonely traveler was no stranger to threesomes, but a menage a trois with the world's second tallest twins? Even he was not sure he had that much pecker snot. I couldn't help but think what a thrill it must have been for these simple pub folk to be in the midst of a real man of letters. Do you want a flea pant on the house? Sure. All right. I headed to Blarney Castle, built in 1446 and home to the famous Blarney Stone. Kissing the Blarney Stone is said to magically bestow eloquence, or the gift of Gab. Did you get the gift of Gab? No. Did you get the gift of Gab? No. Did you get the gift of Gab up there? Yes. Yes, we did. Hold the bars. Oh, yeah, yeah. I did it! I don't know about the gift of Gab, but I did get the gift of herpes. Simplex one. But like a trooper, I soldiered on to beautiful County Kerry, which is rich in history and cheap. These fields, as far as the eye can see, belong to wealthy and beloved local landowner Herbert O'Connor. And the sheep, hundreds of them, Every last one of them is herpes! Behind me is the Galerist Oratory, built between the 6th and 9th century. It is Ireland's oldest and best preserved early Christian church. Many a pilgrim came from far and wide to find his or her peace. <laughs> What's that thing in your lips? It's nothing. The damp weather and incessant teasing was only aggravating my cold sore. I convinced the producers that it would be prudent if I convalesced in the healing tropical climes of sunny Barbados. Barbados is more than just a tropical paradise. It's filled with genuinely friendly people, delicious cuisine, and exotic entertainments. The two weeks I spent in Barbados was a highlight of my trip to Ireland. With my herpes in remission, I returned to Ireland's dank charm and filling cuisine. Like they have at this late night fish and chip shop. But you never know who you'll bump into here. Hey, how you doing? Oh, there. Oh! 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 oh. What the f Jesus Christ, I thought you were somebody else. Oh. Though this behavior may seem shocking, to the Irish, a good punch-up is just a way of breaking the ice. Hey, what did you say? Hello, you. You're all right there. I thought you were somebody else. Welcome to Ireland. There's a great spot, This guy. When Care Hopper gets one of us returns, I run into some fellow countrymen. Scottish colonialists brought golf to Ireland in the 17th century, once the countryside is dotted with beautiful courses. I got to play at a real Link style pitch and putt, where I teed off with a Catholic priest. She's that hit her? Well, let's just say there was a wee little wager. Sit! Oh. So a priest, a nun, and a rabbi are playing golf. Oh, I'll never forget it. Fonzo, where did you go to seminary? Oh. Don't do that when I'm trying to hit. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh. Don't do that. Oh, I can't help you. I'm, I'm allergic to the grass. I've seen that. What? Listen, you've been riding me all afternoon. The West Coast village of Doolin is famous for its traditional Irish music. Smiling, everyone is happy and... 
This shop features a wide variety of instruments used in traditional Irish music. Like the boron, harmonica, red banjo, but not a single ceremony. That's why I brought my own. Eager to test my theory that its haunting electronic veil is the perfect complement to Irish music's maudlin strains. One, two, three, four. Peninsula has some of the most ruggedly beautiful landscape in Ireland, as illustrated in this stunning stock footage. I made a beeline to Slay Head, which is said to have the best view on the peninsula. The Dingle Peninsula is rich in history, sheep, and mystery. Welcome to the Beehive Hut! We are some of the most ancient dwellings known to man. This cemetery dates from the 16th century. The charming village of Dingle is famous for more than just its berries. Ugh, they smell like shit. Many visitors visit Dingle, hoping to get a glimpse of Dingle's most famous visitor, Foggy the Dingle Dolphin. He spends his summers in Dingle Harbor. Here, get off. It's a road. He called his manhood the Dingle Dolphin, not for its size, but for its odd shape and dorsal blowhole. What's the story with the outfits, the shirts and the scarves? Uh, we're Boy Scouts from Germany. Boy Scouts? Yeah. Ah. Ow! 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 Oh! For a perfect healing climate, you can't beat Sunny Barbados. When Gerhard Rankis won the last returns, I get back to work on my novel. From Barbados, I headed to the village of Cluniven, where I checked into Mrs. Kennedy's bedroom breakfast with the intention of finishing my novel. But the words, which once shot forth in great spurts of eloquence, were now reduced to a measly dribble.